We're giving you a free 30-day trial of Prime. Free delivery, award-winning TV, exclusive deals, and more. Click the link in the show description for more information. Welcome back to the Dad Life Podcast. Today's episode is about the first you didn't expect. We all prepare ourselves for some of the big firsts. First steps, first words, first day of school. But sometimes, fatherhood hits you with a first that completely catches you off guard. That's what we're diving into today. The unexpected moments that change you as a dad. Maybe it's the first time your kid got really hurt, the first heartbreak, or the first time you felt like you didn't have the answer. I'll start with one of my own. One first that I could never have imagined is dealing with cutting and mental health issues. I don't really want to dive into all that right now, but that would be at the top of my list. I knew heartbreaks would come, but I don't think I was prepared for the intensity of it. There was this helplessness in knowing I couldn't fix it. That was a new kind of pain, watching my daughter go through something I couldn't protect her from. I touched on that in the last episode. If you've listened to earlier episodes, you know I talk a lot about being there for your kids emotionally. But in moments like these, you have to find balance between comfort and giving them space. I asked you all on social media to share your first that you didn't see coming. And the responses were incredible. So let's dive into a few. First, we have a story from Janet. She says, The first time I didn't expect was the first time my daughter called me out for not keeping a promise. It was small, just something about going to the park. But it hit me. She's paying attention. That's a powerful one, right? We don't always realize how closely our kids are watching us. Next, Jeff shared, I didn't expect the first time my son cried because he was frustrated with me. I wasn't ready for that guilt. Does that resonate with anyone? We think we'll always be the ones comforting, but sometimes we're the source of their frustration. Wait till they're teenagers. (laughs) That's all I get. Dave wrote in and said, The first time I didn't expect was the day my son got really sick for the first time. It was just the flu, but I felt so helpless. I dealt with scrapes and bruises, but this time was different. I wasn't sure if I was doing enough. And that takes me back. The first time my daughters got really sick, I felt the same way. The first time my daughters got really sick, I felt the same way. And they used to share a room. They had bunk beds. And when one of them was sick, I would literally lay on the floor all night just in case they needed me. I remember the very first time my oldest got sick though because her mom and I, we went to Cuba when she was, I don't know, maybe six months old. So the day before we were supposed to leave, she got her very first cold. That night before we left, she would not fall asleep. I remember sitting up in bed and I had her resting on my legs. I had my legs crossed And like she wouldn't fall asleep unless I was holding her. And then on the plane ride back, it was, I think about six hours, screamed almost nonstop the whole time. There's this old lady, I'll never forget. Her mom apologized and she was just so mad. As parents, we're always questioning ourselves. Should I take them to the doctor? Is it just a cold? Am I overreacting? It's tough And that's another moment where you realize how much responsibility you're carrying. Another listener, Neil, shared his story. The first time my son got into a fight at school, I didn't know how to handle it. I was shocked because he's always been a sweet kid, and suddenly I'm getting a call from the principal. I got a call similar to that at near the end of last school year, and the teacher, actually my daughter, called me and said, the principal wants to talk to you. So she got on the phone and she said my daughter was in the wrong place at the wrong time and got in between kids fighting and this girl like grabbed her by her hair and was like swinging her around. I'm at work. I didn't know what to do. I just started crying. And luckily my brother stayed behind so I could go rush off and see her. But God, you never want to get a call like that. And we teach our kids to be kind and to walk away from fights And my daughter was sticking up for a friend. So I don't know. How do you be mad about that? 
And kids are going to have these moments where they push boundaries or struggle to control their emotions. It doesn't mean we're failing as dads. It just means they're learning. Thinking about this episode, I remembered some other firsts that I didn't expect. Well, I guess I knew that they would get hurt, but I remember the bad first time with my oldest. The deck at my old house, it was three different levels. It was like a step down to each level. And my daughter was standing on one and she kept jumping onto the next, back and forth, back and forth. And I wasn't looking. And all of a sudden, I hear her screaming. And as she jumped down, she, like her two front teeth went through her tongue. And she still has a scar on her tongue. It was, her mouth was filled with blood. That was scary. Another first being a new dad that I didn't think of was the first time that I was called a name. My daughter was watching... I think it was uh, like Charlotte's Web. Or maybe it was Babe. I don't know, one of those movies. And there was a character in that that called someone a butthead. So that was the first name I was ever called. Daddy Butthead. (laughs) And believe me, it's gotten way worse from there. There's also some cool ones I never thought of. Like first time I got to take them to a concert. Or the first time I got to take them to the fair, the first ride they went on, like that stuff. It never really crossed my mind before I had kids, but I loved. Even little things, I remember sitting at the table with my firstborn, she was on my lap. And the first time she clapped. Like it was just another unexpected thing. Like I didn't think, oh, she'd never clapped before. And you see her bringing her hands together. I know I have some firsts coming up too. There's going to be, my daughter's going to be 16 in March. So she's going to be getting her driver's license. So she'll be driving. And there's always marriage coming up, kids. Another unexpected one is them getting drunk. Both kids now have been drunk, puking everywhere. Another one I can remember was the first time that my kids told me that they hated me. Now, I don't really remember the exact moment, but I remember how I felt. I was so upset. I took it so personally. Over the years, I've, I've, I've tried to learn not to take things so personally. And a lot of the time, they can say whatever they want to me, and it doesn't make me upset because I'm used to it now. And it sucks to say, but that's how teenagers are. They talk to you so rudely and, yeah, even call you names. And the first time hearing them say, I hate you, or I wish you weren't in my life, stuff like that, it sucks so bad to hear. And for those of you with teens, the unexpected first can take a whole different shape, whether it's them pulling away for independence or them challenging you in ways you didn't see coming. It's a whole new level of fatherhood. And I'm going through that right now where my kids don't want to come over as much anymore. They want to hang out with friends. It's actually worse with with my youngest. She, I feel like she barely even talked to me right now. And I guess I always knew that was going to come, but I didn't expect it to be as bad as it is. One of the biggest shocks for me was the first time I realized that my daughters had stopped looking at me like a superhero, you know? I feel like when they were younger, they thought I was cool. They always wanted to hang out. They wanted to do stuff with me. And now it's completely changed. You know, I'm embarrassing They don't want to hang out. Actually, my oldest does once in a while. But, yeah, it's completely different. But I guess it's inevitable. But that shift, it really hit me. It's like the first step into their independence. And it's 
so tough. So the first we didn't expect might catch us off guard, but they're often where we grow the most as dads. So next time you face one, take a breath and remember you're not alone. We've all been there and we'll be there again. I'd love to hear more of your stories. If you want to look me up, Dad Life Pod on everything, just leave a comment, tag us. And for a future episode, I'd love to include those. Thanks for listening today. We will see you on the next episode. Mm-hmm.